it. Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics yet, but we won't get through. No, you must go alone. I'll come back. With Siri. I know. Agarin!
the gentleman will follow. Captain! <laughs> Report, 4th Kite Squadron. The Funsberg Division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at the briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. Mean to me a day trap. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher, I do not wish to see you ever again. Need any help? With a wagon? We'll manage, mate. We thank you for your concern. Aye. So you don't look like no wheelwright, that's sure. Change is coming. Well, that's the truth of it. And the Guardians have fled. The Redanians have barely arrived. And bandits sense the void. Practically feel they have free reign. Barely got away, then busted a wheel and watched our horses run off into the wood. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. We'll take care now.
Master Ort. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. It's 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no Witcher has, would ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Dubin Hern am Gladiel, Mocham Fien Aisen. The flash that cuts through darkness, the light that breaks the night. Exactly. Classic Elder Speech runes, no styling, simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. A silver sword. Like it? It's beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. What's this inscription? An old Witcher's motto. Had a sword like this once myself, but this one's better. Much better. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War was a clash between two great strategists. Radovid V, 
known as the Stern, and Emir Var Emrys. Both seemed invincible, yet both were defeated. Nilfgaard, invading from the south, was repelled in the field, while the north's supreme leader fell victim to assassins. Yet Redania stood victorious, and the man who had thus far operated in shadow took up the reins of power. That man was Sigismund Dijkstra. Once firmly in the Chancellor's seat, Dijkstra ruled the victorious North in his patently cynical and ruthless manner. He knew that to preserve peace, he would need to prepare for war. Following Nilfgaard's example, he consolidated his rule over vast lands through a broad program of settlement and industrialization, all for the good of his subjects, though often contrary to their will. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. <laughs>